Hello YouTube, today I'm at Ziggler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie. Starting off up front, really nice chrome grill and bumper. As you'll notice, this vehicle does have the full LED light package. I believe that's standard on Laramie. You also have uh, front parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper and a front uh, license plate bracket as well. Coming around to the side, we have your 1500 Hemi 5.7 badge. The Laramie does get fender flares from the factory. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have a 18 inch wheel on a Goodyear Wrangler Fortitude HT, and the tire size is a 275-65 R18. We do have splash guards right here. There's your chrome Ram badge. This vehicle also has the passive or proximity entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle by pushing the driver's side or passenger side door button right there. Coming around to the back, we have your capless fuel fill port. Full LED tail lights with blind spot monitor right here. Here's the tailgate. Your Laramie badge on the left. 4x4 logo on the right. The new updated Ram logo. And then your backup camera is right there. Down here we have your four pin and seven pin connectors. Dual exhaust with parking sensors integrated again into the bottom portion of the bumper. Laramie is a very, very good trim. Uh, you get some decent luxury items at a pretty good price, I'd say, compared to the competition. Uh, overall, I think Laramie is probably my, my favorite trim uh, for Ram. I know the Limited and Laramie Longhorn are nice, but just for what you get for the price, you can't really beat it. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting out on the left hand side, we have your lock and unlock buttons, all of the window controls, the driver and passenger are automatic up and down, and then your mirror control buttons. Push the center button and the mirrors will fold in, push it again, and they will fold back out. This also has two seat memory as well. Over here we have all of the lighting controls for the exterior of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the interior light, ambient lights, and gauge cluster. Below that we have your electronic parking brake, and to the right of that we have your power adjustable pedals. Coming up top to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a beautiful LCD screen in the middle. And each of the corners is customizable to monitor whatever you would like to monitor. This, in my opinion, is the best LCD center display um, in, the, in the business right now. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice, soft, leather-wrapped steering wheel. It is heated. This control pad right here controls the center LCD display. And then to the right of that, we have your hands-free call buttons. Over on this side, we have all of your cruise control buttons. And then below that, we have your gear limiter buttons. Like on all FCA vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel and a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. This vehicle does have push button start as well as the Alpine audio group. Right here we have a shallow storage tray with a 12 volt outlet, which is awesome. And with the Laramie, you start, like I said, getting into a little bit more luxurious looking uh, uh, interiors, you have this um, wood grain looking trim, however it is plastic, but you have it over here with this uh, suede or Alcantara looking um, insert in the door. Very, very nice. Coming down to the touchscreen display, um, very responsive. Rams Uconnect touchscreens are just absolutely awesome. Uh, very responsive, like I said, and very high definition. Take a look at the reverse, like, backup camera. You know, it's, they, they did a very, very good job with this touchscreen display. And it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as navigation. Um, with, the, with this particular one, you can also control the climate uh, through the touchscreen, as well as your heated and ventilated seats, which I'll get to in a minute. 
Down here we have some physical buttons for the radio, your volume knob, your mute button, screen off button, so if it's too dark or too bright at night uh, and there's too much glare, you can turn the screen off, push it again to turn back on, and then your tune knob. In the middle we have your hazard light button. We have heated as well as ventilated uh, driver and passenger seats. And then we also have your heated steering wheel button right there. Down here we have your dual zone climate control buttons. To the left of that we have your rotary dial shifter and your push button transfer case. Right here we have an integrated trailer brake control. To the right of that we have your traction control off button, tow haul mode, parking sensors for the rear off, parking sensors for the front off. Now. I believe for 2020, the CD player is either an optional item or it's no longer available. However, these, all USBs used to be over to the right. They have been moved to the middle. You get two USB ports, two USB-Cs, as well as an auxiliary jack. Right here we have a phone storage tray. And then below that we have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Which brings us to the configurable center console. This has three positions. This is the first one, second one, and third one. We have access to two cup holders, change storage, as well as a storage tray right here. Coming back to the armrest, lift up on it, gives us access to a USB port, as well as a dimple for cord management. Lift up on the bigger portion, which gives us access to the huge storage compartment down here. As I move this paper out of the way, if I can grab it. If you look closely, you can see the previous generation of Ram 1500 trucks on that center divider. On the back of the center armrest, you have your trigonomic ratios, Pythagorean theorem, standard to metric conversions, as well as fraction to decimal conversions. So if you ever need that, Ram has got you covered right here. Here's a closer look at the Laramie leather seats. Very, very nice. I, I love these seats. Closer look at the door. This vehicle also comes with two glove boxes. First one is accessible by pushing this button. It is LED lit. Second one, standard, right there. Coming up top to the vanity. It is lit for the passenger halogen as well as driver. And this does have a three-door universal garage remote. Coming up over here, this button right here will actually release and lower the tailgate, so I'll push that, and the tailgate will fall. We have your dome map light controls right here, as well as your LED dome map light buttons. This button right here controls the center sliding rear window. And then in front of that, we have some glasses storage, and then your auto dimming rear view mirror. Overall, like I said, I absolutely love the Laramie. It's my favorite trim. Uh, let's take a look at the back and see how much so before light. Before I get in, I wanna point out, these doors are absolutely massive and they open up at almost what seems to be a 90 degree angle. So loading kids or big items in here will be very easy. Uh, you also have Ram second generation of in-floor storage on both driver and passenger side. These are removable on both sides and you have centimeter measurements on the shorter side and inch measurements on the longer side. These seats do fold up very easily, giving you access to more cargo space and they fold down just as easily. You have a grab handle right here, which makes getting in very easy. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind driver and passenger seats. Uh, I'd say with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I have a solid 10 to 12 inches of leg room. So tons and tons of space in the back of this truck. Two cup holders right here with uh, tablet cutouts. Storage shelf right here. Two USB ports, two USB-C ports, as well as another 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Hanger hooks on passenger and driver's side, as well as a LED dome map light up top. And this has the Alpine Audio Group again, so there are speaker grills pretty much everywhere. Uh, I love, love, love on these higher trims, the pull down uh, center armrest. Very, very big, very comfortable. Two cup holders right here, 
as well as some storage. So if you have a small tablet or phones and you want to keep them hidden, you can put them in here and you will be good to go. Put it back up, locked right into place. Very, very nice. Let's take a closer look at the bed real quick. So to lower the tailgate on this uh, truck, there's actually a couple ways. The first way is with the key fob. Second way is with the button I had showed you previously. And the third way would be to just come up to it, push it, and it will automatically come down for you. Uh, all, I believe all the hinged components on these vehicles are uh, aluminum, which means the hood, doors, and tailgate are all aluminum, so they are all very, very light. Uh, this does not come with a spray and bed liner. However, you do have four tie-down points, one in each corner. Uh, putting the tailgate up is very easy and light, two fingers, and it's up. Let's take a closer look at the window sticker so real here's quick. the window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $46,740. All of your standard equipment is going to be right here if you can see any of it, and it spills over a little bit into this side. Optional equipment is going to be right here. Most notably, you have the Laramie One Equipment Group for $1,695, as well as a 5.7 liter Hemi upgrade for $1,495. There are also a couple of miscellaneous packages in there as well for a total price of $53,645. Your fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. I want to give Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram located in Granville, Michigan a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in getting into a 2020 Ram 15, 25, or 3500, I will be putting all of the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.